What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not cutting it, kid. Get the hell off. Ow, that hook. All right, let's see here. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of HD Max Funky Flash Tutorials. I am your boy, HD Mac, here. And today, we're going to be getting into a little, um, kind of smaller episode than usual because we're dealing with, you know, the installation of this program in the first place. And we're going to be installing a little silly little plugin that will come in handy every now and then. It's called Frames to Symbols. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I begin the video, I just want to preface this by saying, um, you know, I can't really give <laughs> a full tutorial on how to download Flash for many reasons, um, but to name a few, actually to name one big one, legal reasons, because I would, I'd rather not have my channel strike down by Adobe. Um, I want to stay strike free. And uh, yeah, but before I begin, I would like to give a quick shout out to, you know, the boy. Shout out to my boy Zaffin for um, telling me that his video got taken down. You really took one for the team there. Yeah, if I would have known that, then I would have never, <laughs> I probably would have never uploaded this video in the first place. So I'm gonna try to do this as subtle as possible. And the only thing that I'm going to say is that it is imperative that you include installation process. So that's the only thing I'm going to say regarding installation as that's uh, quintessential to installing the uh, Frames to Symbols plugin. So, without further ado, let's get into installing the plugin itself. Okay, so I've got the uh, Frames to Symbol file locked and located. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and click on it and see what happens. Disclaimer, it's not a virus. So as you can see, uh, this will pull up a extension disclaimer. And uh, yeah, just read through it because it's all just kind of yapping. And you're going to want to click accept. I'm going to click decline because I already have it installed, as you can see. Um, but yeah, uh, once you do that, it should be all installed. And you should be, in all honesty, you should be good to go. So... If you have Flash open uh, before you installed it, you're going to want to close it and then reopen it again. And if all goes according to plan, then it should be there. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into working this. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I got this animation right here. It's looking pretty spiffy, if I might say. And, but the issue here, it's all on the canvas. And I really, really want it to be in a symbol. I want it to have its own little dedicated symbol. Kind of like the sketch right here, which was used as an outline to create the, the artwork itself. So, what we're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna highlight all the frames that you want to um, turn into a symbol, right? So I got all of these layers. So I'm just gonna copy and paste all these frames with my right click. Let's go to commands, flash whip, frames to symbols. This is the command we just installed. So we're gonna wanna click on it. And it prompts you to enter a symbol name. Remove, remove original frames, remove original layers at if empty and symbol as play once graphic you don't want this you don't want this and you also don't want this i think this can be adjusted um symbol as play once graphic but uh everything else i think you would want on but i'm not sure anyways so let's enter a symbol name let's just call this new and we can enter and it just does its little thing and bada bing bada boom it is now in a symbol. And we can view it on the timeline. And um, here's one thing I should probably state. It won't play, it won't loop 
unless it's a graphic. If it's a movie clip, then it won't loop on the timeline. It'll only loop if you export it as a GIF. So just make sure that it's a graphic if you want it to play on the timeline. And yeah, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, I know I've been slacking on my upload schedule and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to upload any death animations. Um, yeah, it's just a kind of complicated subject to get into, but I hope you guys understand and I hope this, you know, kind of makes up for my 10 months of slacking. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm not going to ask you to comment, like, and subscribe because you've already done enough of that. Um, more than I actually desired, in fact. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good night, day, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. And yeah, catch you on the flip side. See ya.